Good morning, crafty friends. Sparkle here. Say, by the time you see this video, it will be Saturday, October 23rd, and I will be welcoming my eight biological sisters into my home, and we will be spending the weekend together, and they are throwing me a party on Monday, an early birthday party. So I am honored to be the guest of honor, and I'm glad they told me, so I'm not shocked out of my mind when they show up. But I wanted to leave you something fun to look at and to play with in my absence. So I'll be out of the studio for a few days, but I have a couple videos planned, hopefully, to be released during that time. So I saw this many years ago, and you all have seen um, paper clip or um, clothespin where people decorate clothespins and things like that. I just keep these in my office here. I use them to hold up notes and stuff. These are old ones. But that's one thing you could do with clothespins. But then I thought, you know, let's take them apart. And when you do that, you get this fun little coil. And I have to go up to the hardware store later. But if you get this ball chain, it can go right in here. And then you can get that little clasp, this little piece here. And you can, um, of course, with a longer piece, you can make this into a necklace or a bracelet or just a dangle. So that's one idea. Another idea is you can um, just put a ribbon in it and make a dangle that way and put it in a journal. Another idea is to put it on a necklace. Okay. And this one I, I still need to practice, but you can make one of these um, slides where it's supposed to move and you can make an adjustable piece. But they're fun. But my favorite thing to do with them is to make little dangles. And with these, I'm just using um, some teeny tiny elements from my porch prints, um, Rachel and Bella, and different trims and things that I have in my stash. Some of my paper beads, and these are the beads that I used for my pokey tools earlier this year. So, yeah, you're going to have lots of fun with this. So when you get your clothespin, you don't even need any tools. You just take this apart and be careful it doesn't snap in your face. And save these because I know we'll have a project for them later. And then you have this spring. Okay. And all I did was I took one of my beads. These are 10 millimeters. And these are like the candy beads. I got these from Amazon. And all I did was put one end in the one hole. And then in the other hole. And there you have it, my friends. Now, you can be very creative and... If you had an accent bead to put in the center of these, you could. I don't have that right now, but I'm going to just um, see this, these couple that I just made. See, and you can have a, even a necklace with three different um, styles. I really like that. Look how easy that was. Okay, so for another statement you can use, and I've um, got all my little treasures laid out here so I don't have to drive everybody crazy, okay? So all do we're doing is we have a two-inch two inch safety pin, okay? And all I did was put on some seed beads 
and a little trim here, my clothespin, and I repeated the sides and I put a little tassel. So you could just leave it as, as, as that, and then you could take some chain, I don't have any here, but um, if you had the right kind of chain, You could I would put a jump ring on this end put your chain around here and put a jump ring on this one and and that would be cute if you can visualize that this would be trimmed okay just two jump rings and you could do something like that shorten it up a little bit and that would be cute but I I liked it with these um, little cards. I had all these mini ephemera from my porch print. So I just cut this here in half, folded it in half, and then it has a pattern on each side. And we're just going to loop it in here. And we're just going to layer on top. Okay? So, I have some scraps of seri ribbon that I just cut, and I'll just put a piece here. Might want to cut it a little bit shorter. So, that'll go there. And I have just a piece of um, paper trim, and I have a word, family. And I'm simply, because I'm I'm that way. I'm simply going to put a paper clip through this all. You could stitch it. You could glue it. But I wanted this to be um, just really, really simple. And then I have a piece of bling, and I was going to put that up here. And I need some fabric tack for that. So we'll put that on. Oops, my goodness. I got glue all over me that time. Okay, then I just, I just punched a hole and I added one of these little tags from the ephemera kit from my porch prints. So, oops, didn't mean to all oh, gluey there. So let's just clip the corner. This is a good way to use up if you had extra beads and things. This is a great way to um, use some of them. Let's punch a hole. Yeah, I'm going to so look forward to that time with my sisters. So there you go. Isn't that cute? I think they're adorable. So I already coordinated some little sets here. Here's my um, main decoration. I have two seed beads and a rondelet bead, my clothespin spring, rondelet, two beads, and a mini tassel. I have my little tag. Fold it in half. Okay. We have a piece of fairy ribbon. A piece of book page. And a word. And you just put that on however you see fit. And you can run your stapler through there or glue, like I said. And put your little 
swing. So this is Sparkle's version of mass producing. And this needs to be just trimmed. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I'm going to give these to my sisters when they come on Saturday. I've got goodie bags for them, so. Yeah, I can hang them on something. Great little charms. I don't know if you could put, I guess you could put a magnet on the back and put it on the fridge or something. It might be top heavy. I'm not sure. So, I keep sticking my finger on the glue here. So I'll punch a hole here. Punch a hole in the middle here. And just take a bowl clip. Yeah, um, next time I'm out, I'll go to Ace Hardware because you can buy that um, ball chain. You can buy it really um, reasonably priced there. And then you can just cut cut the size you want when you get home. And then you can buy those little end, clip, end caps. So there you have those. And let's see. Here's a necklace. Here's one with the ball, ball chain. I actually would make this long enough to, to slide over your head, then you don't have to worry about opening it. This is a 24 inch chain, I believe, and you can slide that over your head. Let's see. Yeah, that's 24 inches, so that, that will slide over your head. And this one is just too small, but it's the only piece I have to show you. But, and I mashed it, but you could hang it, it could dangle from something. Okay, so you got some ideas, just tie it on, put it on a ribbon, and you can hang it off your journal. And almost could be a ring, but too way too small for me. But very cute. So we'll do one more. So you take your safety pin, you open it up, and you just thread it. We've got some seed beads, some rondelet beads, a clothespin, spring, rondelet, seed beads, and a mini tassel. Take your base, I just folded them in half, take a piece of sari ribbon, I was trying to match the colors in the, the beads, okay, so that's how I arrived at my color scheme here. And I got a piece of, um, uh, not transparency, vellum, scrap vellum, and the word peace. And we're just going to staple that on here. And I have another little Dollar, Dollar Tree gem put on here. Okay, now that's on um, 
vellum. So I'm going to double, double tag this one. That might take a little bit of manpower here to get this one to stick. Yeah, this is going to be so fun. I can't wait to see my sisters, and I can't wait to use these little projects. These little laying in my projects, I should say. So, so we can do this one over here. And give this a punch. And cut out. Yep, I'll do a couple more off camera and then my sissies will get another lovely little treasure in their their gift bag. Yeah, it's gonna be epic. Can't wait to come back next week and tell you all about our adventure. Another great way to use up bits and pieces on your desk. I had these little elements from left over from a different project, and I thought, well, I could just make little embellishments with them. And these literally just came together. Aren't they sweet? I think so. All right, my friends. I am off to finish cleaning my house. Get rid of all these dust bunnies. So be blessed. Have a great day and a fabulous weekend. Bye.